G'day and welcome to AOS Coach. I want to share with you a small little video on one of my favorite Age of Sigma tools that you may not even know about. It's called AOS Reminders. Now, I'm not paid an affiliate. I'm not getting any sponsorship from this. It's a tool that I'm very passionate about because it helps you understand the rules of your army in a simple and easy way for the gaming table. It helps order those rules by phase. It allows you to understand what parts do you use, certain rules, at what dice rolls, at what times, whether it's at the start of a combat, at the end of the combat, before something happens. It is truly an awesome tool that is going to help you either learn your army better, give you the confidence to start a new army or when you are playing speed up your games because i know that's one of the biggest challenges we have is getting through potentially five full rounds when you have a very complex army so without further ado i'm going to share with you uh, a little bit of a demonstration of how to use aos reminders again go on to the website aosreminders.com the link will be down below uh, and i will show you how to use this tool so first off, this is AOS Reminders. This is the screen that you would normally see when you very first log in. And as I've mentioned to you, AOS Reminders is a simple and easy tool that helps compile all of your Age of Sigma rules into a document, into a very usable format, so you know which rules apply at what stages. This will help you understand when to use them on the tabletop, as well as make maybe better decisions, maybe uh, fighting with a certain unit in combat instead of another because of a certain rule. Now, for the purpose of this, I'm going to demonstrate it with one of my armies, which is going to be the Gloom Spike Gits. So as you can see, AOS Reminders has a whole bunch of features we can go through, and it will start off with some of the Allegiance abilities, but we aren't gonna be building a Beast of Chaos army. Sorry, guys, we are going to build a Gloom Spike Kids Army. Now, this is all going to be customizable. So the first thing, like any list building, this isn't going to replace uh, War Scroll Builder or Azir, merely complement it. You, you build your list, but then how do you bring in your rules? So the first thing is we need to bring in some units. So I'm going to select a bunch of the units that are in my army. So what do I have in my army? Well, I'm going to have uh, a Loon Boss. I've got uh, a Matt, where is my squig herd? I've got uh, Zarbag and Zarbag's gits. I have uh, Scragrup the Loon King. Where's old Scraggy? There's Scraggy. Uh, a gits army is not a gits army without uh, our colossal squig, but also our shooters and our stabbers. So let's say hypothetically this is the army, whether it's 1,000, 2,000, 5,000. 500, 5,000 points. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how many units I have. So if I have four units of stabbers, that's okay. Um, I, I only have to put in the unit once. This is the war scroll that I've got. So I've got my combination of units. I could have more. I could have my fungoid. I could have my mad cap. But for the purpose of this demonstration, uh, you can see this all in play. Now, I can see here that the White Dwarf rules have always come into play. Now, the word tribes would change. If I played uh, the Daughters of Cain, this would say temples. If it was Stormcast, it would say chambers. If I was Cities of Sigma, this would be cities. So this would be all customizable. If this was Cities of Sigma, I'd be able to choose my Tempest Die or my Hallow Heart, etc., etc. Over here, we've got our battalion. So if I did take the Palooza, for example, uh, I could have my Palooza here, but I'm going to choose my, my Moon Clan Scrap. And uh, that, that also comes with the Skull Mob Horde. So that being a Mega Battalion, I do have to have both. So it's brought up some of the rules already. Now, I've got a Scragrot, the Loon King. Now, Scragrot is going to be my general, but let's say that I didn't take Scragrot, the Loon King as the general, but rather I wanted my my uh, my Loon Boss to be Dead Shouty. So I'm going to give him the command trait Dead Shouty. This is just for demonstration purposes, team. This is clearly not the legal match play list. Uh, we've got our command abilities. So should we have any more command abilities? It's already captured the ones off the war scroll. So I'm the boss. Uh, now stab them good. The Loon Kings, uh, et cetera, et cetera. And we can kind of go in further to say, well, uh, I'm going to choose the Clammy Cow artifact. And uh, because I've got battalions as well, I'm going to choose the Moonface Moment. And I've also got, uh, let's say, the Glowy Housert. Uh, although anyone who knows Gits would know the Glowy Housert would go on a trog. But 
Shh, don't tell anybody. C coming through here, we've got our spells. So we've got already the, the War Scroll spells. So I've got Nicket Nicket on Scragrot, as well as Face of the Bad Moon. But we're also going to choose another spell because we get a spell from the spell law. And uh, I'm going to choose Itchy Nuisance in this case. Should we have any endless spells? This is where I would bring in my endless spell uh, selection. And with Gloom Spite, you certainly don't leave home without. Where is she? We got the Scuttle Tide and let's say the Malevolent Moon. There's no scenery to come into play. If you were playing at a table that had some of the War Scroll scenery, let's say a Bell, Bellwind Realm Gate, uh, for example, you might have some deadly or damned terrain. You may want those rules on your sheet. Uh, if you want to have your triumphs as well, if you want to kind of fasten that up and not carry your general's handbook around, if you had realms of origin or realm features or realms of battle. So if you knew you were going to a tournament and you were going to play in the realm of Gairan, you could bring in the realms of Gairan as well. Now we've made our list. What's going to happen now is you can see that we have um, all of our rules in a single format. We can see that at any point in time, we've got the, the, the claimy cow where I can subtract one to the hit rolls for the, t uh, the t tax of the bearer. We've got our things for our save rolls. So we've got our moon face moment. We've got our moon shields and we've got our moon, bad moon icon bearers. The things for wound allocation as well. So things like any mortal wound saves, etc., etc. But where the magic really happens is when we start to break down any rules that might actually happen at the start of the round, during the round, start of the hero phase, during the hero phase, start of movement, during, during shooting, charge, start of combat, during. So in the case of the start of combat, this is a perfect example. Some rules may tell you that you must activate this before the uh, the, the combat commences. So in the case of the moon face moment, um, at the start of combat, before we start trading blows, it reminds me that at the start of combat to pick one enemy unit within 12 inches of the bearer to subtract one to the hit rolls. Now that would actually allow me to make maybe a better decision or maybe reduce one of those threats because I can bring the three plus armor save down to a four or et cetera, et cetera. We can see here all of our rules as well as what happens at the end of the round. So, for example, uh, at the end of the round with Scragrot, should Scraggy do any uh, wounds from the, the moons on a stick, uh, it would also then do a mortal wound at the end of the battle round, especially if I went at the top of the turn. Uh, this is a rule that I might forget in the heat of combat because I'm rolling a lot of dice and trying to remember a lot of rules. And the great thing as well is when we scroll up here, you'll actually see the ability to download the PDF. So what's really cool about this team is if I was going to a tournament and uh, I'm still um, I'm, I'm practicing my rules, or I just want to make sure it's more like a checklist that I haven't forgotten a certain rule, I'd actually be able to either kind of compact the, the rules or make it standard. This is really personal choice. And what will happen is actually I will get a very nice little PDF that has all of my rules on a single page. Or oh, not on a single page, but multiple pages. So in this case, all of my rules are going to be on three pages. So at any point in time, I can see during my hero phase to make sure that yes, I've cast Itchy Nuisance. Yes, here's Nicket Nicket, the casting value, the range, the mortal wounds potentially, uh, any of the save rolls that need to be applied, uh, anything that I need to know about for any phase, if nothing more, it is just a cheat sheet for me to remember my rules. Uh, if I was learning my new rules, maybe I'm play testing an army on Tabletop Simulator. I can always have this on a second monitor, which would be very, very helpful. Um, and I can then kind of look at my rules and kind of play around with units and kind of test the full capacity. What's also great is uh, now this is a free. Uh, this is this is currently available for free. Who knows when this might change? But I could actually import a list as well. So should I uh, should I be be using War Scroll Builder and I've built my list, I could actually import one of my lists from uh, War Scroll Builder, the PDF that I've just downloaded, and uh, boom, all of my choices will actually be here. So you can see that it's added fanatics, both the Spore Splatter and the Loon Smasher. You can see the Mad Cap has been included as well as the Fungoid. These are things that we didn't previously select when we did our first um, list build. 
So that's very, very cool. And the bonus points as well is um, if you do subscribe uh, and you can see I am a subscriber. Uh, the great thing as well is if you are playing multiple armies, you're building multiple lists, you can actually um, also save these lists as well. So you can kind of show the different saved armies. So you can see here uh, a previous Gloom Spite army. You can see a, a previous um, a Tempest Eye list. Uh, one that I've taken to Hall of Heroes, uh, my anti-magic Hallow Heart, which is all about debuffing, the, what I ran it, you know, what I was preparing to run at uh, CanCon. Again, I can save all these so I can jump between different armies and, and manipulate the, the lists and, uh, you know, very, very easily I could then go, cool, well, I'm going to load this army. And you can see here that we now have Gordrak in the list, which Gordrak previously wasn't in the list. Uh, we've also still got our Colossal Squeak, but it's kind of changed. It's removed some of those units as well as added them. So that's kind of that's kind of it in a nutshell. And um, again, it's a simple, easy tool. You can save, you can import, you can e extract your list into a, uh, a PDF document, have it on your phone, print it off uh, and have it physically on the table. Uh, if it's something that you want to trade with your opponent, with your list as well, so they know some of your rules and some of your dice rolls, you could absolutely do that. But for me, um, there's been plenty of times where uh, an opponent, for example, myself included, um, may have forgotten a rule. You know, we've got so, so excited about to get to our movement phase or our charge phase that we forget an important rule that happened in the shooting phase, in the hero phase. We forgot to roll that four plus to see if we got an extra command point. This allows me at minimum to have a nice little checklist at, be at best before I move from uh, my, my hero phase into my movement phase, I could always go through it and say, right, did I do this, did I do this? Uh, what's the dice roll for this particular rule? And it summarizes it all beautifully. So again, check out AOS Reminders. Again, I'm not paid, it's not an affiliate, it's not a sponsor. It's just something that I really like. I find it really valuable and I think you'll find it valuable too. Thanks guys. I hope you found that discussion valuable. If you did, give the video the old thumbs up. And if you have a comment or an insight, leave it in the comment section below. The champions over here are my AOS coach Patreons and YouTube members. So you guys are bloody legends. Thank you for all the support. If you want to know more about the support programs, the links are below down here in the episode description, along with a link to the Discord server, so we can continue this conversation. Until next time, don't forget to name your characters and have a good one.